Hey there, good morning. I thought I would go back to a video that contains some very basic um, shake making. So I'm actually gonna make a cookies and cream. So if you have vanilla protein and cookies and cream, which is a good start. Um, and then I'll show you just a couple ways you can dress it up at home, but otherwise two scoops vanilla, two scoops cookies and cream, and let's mix it up. So I start, I happen to have a 16 ounce cup here. So whether you do a 16 ounce cup, 24 ounce cup, a shaker cup, whatever it is you have, fill that with ice. And then you're gonna add cold water all about three quarters of the way, almost to the top. Okay, that is the mix. That is what gets it. So I'm gonna... I have a Blendtec blender, but I also have this Nutribullet, which I like. So I'm gonna blend it up in here today. So we're gonna add two scoops of vanilla protein. Now, some people uh, based on their nutrition plan may only wanna do a one scoop protein. That's fine too. I do two scoops. So I'm starting off with a 200 calorie shake. I'm probably adding about 20, 25 calories with how I'm gonna dress it up. 24 plus grams of protein, um, and then some multiple um, additional minerals benefit too, vitamins and minerals. So that said, this would be my basic shake making too. Now at home, it's two things. If you like peanut butter and you wanna make it a peanut butter cookie, you can buy, this is the PB Fit. There's a great value brand. Um, there's other store brands our PB2. This is a powdered um, peanut butter that you can make, which has less fat. Um, so I'll usually add a scoop of this in. So I'm actually making a peanut butter cookie. Um, and then my scoop is the Herbalife scoop, but it's probably about a tablespoon. So if you love peanut butter, that's how you can switch it up and then become have it become a peanut butter cookie. Two other things um, that you could add, one or the other. Um, at the store, Jell-O brand sugar-free pudding mixes. The pudding mix, do not make it into pudding, just add the pudding mix. But there's the white chocolate and the cheesecake. Either one of them, a tablespoon added into here, just helps to make it a really nice, smooth um, shake. So I'm adding in close to a tablespoon of white chocolate, but you cut it at either one of them in any of your shakes and it really does help out. I don't know what it does to it, but it's what it does. So let's mix this up. It will take a minute of some loud noises because I really don't know how to edit my movies yet or my clips. <clears throat> so bear with me, but this is pretty quick in here. Now in this one, I do shake it up a little to start. that's pretty good. So other things you could add, um, the Hershey's sugar-free, uh, zero sugar chocolate chips or the Lily's brand, um, that they have in the store. I buy the Hershey's, um, it's cheaper and just as great a value. They have zero sugar, they have less sugar, but if you wanted to add some more chocolate chips because you're into that, great. You could add a tablespoon of that as well to decorate. Um, also, um, chocolate syrup. There are sugar-free chocolate syrups, very low in calorie. <clears throat> um, I don't add this so much for flavor as I add it just for decoration. So I got these at the Dollar Tree. I transferred in here because this comes out as a nice light um, line and I'll put that around my cup 
just to decorate my cup. So it's all for presentation. If you're using a shaker bottle, really doesn't matter. Um, one thing I forgot to mention, if you do have a bullet um, and you have the changeable tops, you can actually take this off. And if you're trying to make it for later in the day or in the morning to take it and go, you can um, make it ahead of time, switch it to the other top. And I don't have one handy here, but I do have them. And, um, and then it's a to go. So I actually have a couple different tops that I can use to do that. So this looks pretty thick. So I do like mine nice and thick. Also, um, if you saved your toppers, you can put it on that too, the chocolate on there. So it's just a drizzle. It wasn't a whole lot to add to it. Open that up. So this is your basic shake making. If you want it to come out nice and smooth, um, the other thing you can add is on top is some whip. So here is the sugar-free whip, zero sugar whip. I usually tend to buy them when they're buy one, get one free at the grocery store, or I'll pick up the great value brand. <clears throat> if you want some whipped topping on it, go for it. So now I'm going to pour it and you're going to see how nice and smooth. See, it's smooth and thick. So again, adding the peanut butter and the pudding, I've probably got 225 calories. I'm okay with that. So great meal replacement. And there you have it, folks. So let me add a little thing just to show you. If you have a lid, I add it in the lid. If you don't have the lid, I just add it on top if you want the whipped cream. But I just do a swoosh around there. And there you go. Look how pretty that is. See, you can make these at home too. If you have a coach, reach out to your coach on recipes, flavors, etc. If you don't have a coach and you need some help, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm glad to help. Part of my journey is I consider helping others. So I'm glad to have a great day. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others.